How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you eight ways to improve vlogging on the go. Oh, First of all, make sure you're always in focus. There's nothing worse than looking over your shots and seeing that you're blurry or something. If you have a flip out screen, then check at least two times to make sure that you're in focus. And if you're unlucky like me, you don't have a flip out screen or a phone or anything to preview what you're filming, then use another object, roughly the distance of your arm, focus on it, and then when you film, check the footage again just to make sure that you're in focus. If you do this, I also suggest setting the aperture to f8 or higher so that more things can be in focus and there's lower chance of missing your own face. Number two, and this might seem obvious, but hold your arm out as far as you can to get a wider shot. Of course, this depends on the lens, but the problem is that your arm automatically kind of withdraws inside because the camera is heavy. I don't even know how bigger vloggers do it with a, like a 1DX, that's extremely heavy camera. But point is, keep your arm out, keep consistently focusing on it so that you get a wider better shot number three be stable there's nothing worse than watching footage that's kind of jerky like this if you can't hold it still while walking stop walking talk about it maybe move around for some extra shots and then continue walking number four focus on good lighting it's really bad to have like uneven shadows or weird contrast or being backlit by the sky or some other light where you can't properly see the face or the highlights are completely blown out. So make sure wherever you position your shot that your light is good. Not all shots have to be motion shots. Stationary shots help your audience focus on what you're talking about and not be distracted by the background. And it's very easy to do even if you're in a hurry. Just find a flat surface or something to attach your tripod or camera to and there you go. Change scenery often. There's nothing more boring than watching someone go on and on about a subject with the same shot the entire time. So use different angles, find something interesting to show in your shots, change it about. But don't forget what's most important and that's lighting. Here's a good one, insert cinematic breaks or B-roll. You don't have to be talking the entire time. And if you make a pause and show what's going on around you or whatever you're talking about, it makes it a whole lot interesting. Roll the B-roll. And don't be afraid to leave the parts where you walk in and out of your shots. And most Daddy, importantly, get away from noisy awesome. places. <laughs> There's nothing more distracting than having cars in the background or a crazy girlfriend or something else distracting your viewers from what you're trying to say. And here are two extra tips which are not for free, so they'll be the bonus tips. First of all, if you can save up money for a tripod or a gorilla pod or something like that for those stationary shots, it's an amazing instrument that isn't replaceable. And second, get a shotgun or a directional mic with a windscreen or a dead cat because the improvement of your sound is going to improve your vlog overall many times over. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to give me suggestions on what you want to see next. Hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell if you want to subscribe for more. And I'm going to see you guys next week. I'll be back. Not all your shots have to be stationary. But they help the viewer focus on what you're talking. <laughs> stationary shots help your... <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Not all shots have to be movement shots. Stationary shots help it. Ah!